Double murder case of two Effingham County teens, Mary and Elwin Crocker Jr. It's now been almost five years since the siblings were found buried dead in the family's backyard. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Sue and I'm Dawn Baker. Our WTOC investigates team obtained a copy of the lawsuit against Effingham County School District. Haley Boland joins us now live in our studio with more on this and Haley, how much is the school district being sued for? Well, Donna, Mike, this is a more than $3 million lawsuit, including damages for mental and emotional suffering, as well as the full value of Mary's life. Now, the lawsuit states if the school district had contacted police, Mary could still be alive today. The lawsuit focuses on an Effingham County School District policy that requires reports of child abuse to be reported to investigating authorities, which includes leadership in the school district and the Division of Family and Children's Services, as well as notifying law enforcement. In March 2017, the lawsuit references a report of abuse from one of Elwin Crocker Jr.'s peers, who says she, quote, heard Jr. screaming and his grandmother telling him to shut up. They also heard a belt slapping against skin. The abuse had been discussed in school to a guidance counselor or social worker in the school district referred to as Jane Doe in the lawsuit who reported to DFACS, but DFACS decided to not investigate the report. However, the suit states that, quote, causing the report of abuse to be made to DFACS does not alone satisfy the ECSD protocol on abuse. And that, quote, Jane Doe was negligent in its failure to perform this duty of reporting the abuse to either the local police or sheriff's department. It also states the counselor failed to submit the abuse to district leadership who were each required to provide the report to local law enforcement. The lawsuit alleges that if these complaints of the abuse of Elwin Crocker Jr. were properly investigated in March 2017, it would have led to the discovery of the torture Mary experienced as well. And less than two years later, Mary and Elwin Jr.'s bodies were found. WTOC reached out to the Effingham County School District. The superintendent says the school district is aware of the lawsuit and denies any allegations of wrongdoing with regard to these former students. The school district acted appropriately and did not contribute to the senseless acts that resulted in their deaths. The lawsuit also includes an affidavit from one of Mary's friends who says she personally witnessed the abuse in the Crocker home in 2014. At the time they lived in Rinkin, she says the children's father, Elwin Crocker, would beat Mary and Elwin Jr. with a belt and through a closed door she could hear whippings and them screaming and crying. Then in 2016, Mary's friend says police went to Mary and Elwin Jr.'s home and shortly after, Elwin Jr. told the friend he was moving to his grandmother's house and the friend never saw him again after that. Now, of course, we'll continue to follow this lawsuit and update you as we know more.